tip you for the AMS explaining 20 seconds. First, we must understand that this is different from the 95A. Yes, we can print in two colors, but it is not so flexible compared to the 95A. So this means that it is not so comfortable to use it as a phone case, but it has some other advantages and we can use it in the different applications, which I will explain in this video. Hello, welcome back to another Bamboo Lab filament testing video. TPU for the AMS. And I asked Bamboo Lab to slow down a little bit because I have other filament brands to test. Um, joke to aside, uh, this is not a sponsored video. I got these two spools for free, but I'm not paid anything about this to create this video. How about the TPU? Maybe you're familiar that the regular TPU 95A HF cannot go into the AMS unit. We have to feed directly to the printer. But uh, these TPU filaments are designed to go directly into AMS and to AMS light and I will test with the boat. And with this we can have some multicolor printing using the TPU filaments. According to specifications on the website, this is tough but still flexible material. And uh, about the hardness, uh, the previous one has the hardness of 95A on shore scale, but this one is not even measurable on shore scale. It has a hardness of 68D on shore D scale. Just for comparison, the 95A would be approximately 50 on shore D scale. And with this we can have uh, fast printing because uh, the maximum flow rate is 18 cubic millimeters per second and just for comparison the TPU 95A HF has the maximum flow rate of 12 and the previous uh, TPU by Bamboo Lab had a maximum flow rate of 3.6 cubic millimeters per second so huge difference and with this we can have a really fast printing. The drying is important and I can confirm that TPU is very sensitive to moisture and according to specifications on the website 70 degrees Celsius 8 hours is the recommended drying Probably I will do some printings without drying and then I will dry it and follow the weight so I will see how much moisture it has in it and then I will do some other printings. And also we have those regular test objects I have for the TPU filaments so those data is comparable with those which I did with other filaments too. It is available in seven colors and it can be recognized by the AMS automatically. The recommended print temperature is between 220 and 240 degrees Celsius. Now be careful with the bed temperature because it may stick too good to the PI sheets. According to specifications, 30-35 degrees Celsius and this is the temperature I'm using too. But they also recommend using the glue stick and properly this is used as a separation layer. I will try it with the texture PI sheet without glue and I hope I will be able to remove it. And where I'm using the TPU materials, uh, I like to use them as a leg because uh, of bigger friction. But uh, for that I use softer filaments. Uh, this one is hard, but the uh, big advantage of these filaments is that they are very resistant. I will compare it with some nylons. And also they are tough, so I will do some impact tests and compare it with the ABS maybe. Serious packaging, this means it is sensitive to moisture. And this bag is resealable on this side. And the filament is glued, not locked into holes. And this is high temperature resistance spool, which can withstand the temperatures up to 90 degrees Celsius for the drying. It's flexible, but definitely not like the 95A. And the second filament is in this gray color. Currently I'm on my workplace where I have the A1 with the AMS light and I will start the printing without drying. And uh, later from home I will dry it and I will continue the testing on the PMP and the regular AMS. And the filaments are automatically recognized by the AMS light. This smartphone case is from the Maker's World and I just added this text in the slicer and I remove it from the case and I change the color and also I noticed that a part of it would be printed in the air so I'm forced to add the uh, three supports. At least I can test uh, how easy is removing these supports. Start with the purging of the material. It starts with the gray color and I think the detection will be great. I hope not too great. <laughs> It's switching to blue color and it is printing the wipe tower. This is with the supports and I'm not too happy with the contrast between these two colors. Finishing the first layer and it should speed up soon. Oh yes. <laughs> I never saw this speed with TPU filaments, not even close. <laughs> Looks interesting. I hope I will be able to remove those supports. Depends a lot of the layer occasion, but I will test that later. This is the critical bridging and for this I needed those supports. Looks okay. 
printing is finished few seconds ago and immediately I'm placing these filaments into the symbol bags because AMS light is open and unfortunately it is not protected from the moisture. And now let's see how hard is removing the object from this texture PI. I didn't use the glue as advice. Ah, oh, it's fine. Now I can notice some stringing, so definitely it will get some drying before I continue with the testing. And it is not flexible like uh, 95A, but definitely not rigid like PLA. Now let's see the removing of the supports. Hmm. It is quite easy, I'm curious about its layer adhesion, which I will check later. Hmm. Let's see, will it fit? Hmm. It's tight. It was a little bit hard to place it in because I believe that this is designed for the softer TPU filaments. This is a little bit harder as you can see here at these corners I couldn't press in. But it's functional. With small modification I made this case uh, usable. So I cut here a little bit uh, all four corners. And after this I was able to comfortably fit the phone into this case. Buttons a little bit hard to press but it works. TPU 95 HF and it is fitted directly to the extruder without AMS. It's covering the infill. Printing at 75% and I can see that I could dry it a little bit more. It's finished correctly now removing from the bed. TPU for the AMS was easier to remove but this is not impossible neither. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting, on the longer side it was easier to remove the supports, on the shorter side and not so much, I need a fresh cutter here, but this is what I like with the three supports, it is always much easier compared to the normal supports. Definitely much flexible, supports are removed. And it's in. So for the filling, this is a little bit flexible, more flexible than the PLA or PTG, but definitely not even close to this printing, which is 95A on short scale. Now I'm home and both filaments got very serious drying on 70 degrees Celsius, almost six hours. And they go to the AMS, which is installed on my P1P. TPU AMS, so they recognize automatically. Okay, so uh, probably the phone case is not the best application for this material, except if you don't have a design for PLA, because I know some people who print this from the PLA materials, but those which are designed for the TPU materials will not work nice with this. But I have much better application, which is uh, great for this hard TPU. These are jobs for my Ys, and I will combine them in two colors, so I will have the filament changed in uh, every line. It started with blue color, now it switched the filament and it will have uh, 50 filament changes total. Now it's printing the white tower. Nice speed. And this is not an easy printing for the TPU. Look how many small elements it has to print with a lot of attraction. And it was finished without problems. <laughs> I can see some oozing material on the white tower, but there it's fine. Maybe it's not visible on the screen, but there is no stringing at all, so this drying really helped. And this is the final result. I can see some gaps there because we have the limitation of the nozzle diameter. But this is not bad. These are sidewalls, but always printing these color changes into horizontal lines and surfaces will be much nicer. And for this small printing, how much waste material I have, this is the wipe tower. And these are color changes which is not bad because this object is not tall but be careful if you want to do some color printings too always check in the slicer how much additional material you will need and the printing time so this is hard tpu i can feel that it is just a little bit elastic and flexible but i know that this is very very resistant material and this is exactly what i need let's test this earlier i already made these jobs but uh, this is now harder tpu if you are not familiar, sometimes non-metallic jobs are required to avoid damaging of some sensitive part. 
I don't know why I think this is so cool because nobody will see it beside me. Maybe this is just my tech fun. These are my typical test objects for TPU materials. Only I never saw this printing so fast. These are last two objects vertically printed for the layer adhesion test and almost zero stringing, so don't forget to dry your filaments. These are some additional test objects. And now it is switching the filament to the grey color. I'm curious how strong will be this connection. There shouldn't be any bigger difference, but we will see soon. One of the important advantages of this material is that it is very tough and I'm quite sure that it will not break under this half kilogram hammer. And to prove this, I don't need this scale. But I will be here on the other side. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? What? Ah yes. Safety first. Uh, still dangerous. Don't worry, I have a stuntman. Just imagine that this is really me. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was close. One more time in slow motion. Well, no break, but it's deformed a little bit, but uh, you are a very lucky guy. Look at this. This is not a regular testing method for TPU filaments, because with most of them I cannot even do this test. But I want to show it here, because you will understand the differences, and the weight will be only half kilograms. This is regular PLA. Now I'm placing the load. Minus 0.1 millimeters. TPU for the AMS. Minus 0.38 millimeters. <laughs> this is TPU 95A and it deforms even under this holder only. And now I'm placing the weight. More than 9 millimeters and it is still deforming. According to this flexibility, this TPU for the AMS is closer to the PLA instead of 95A. This is my wearing test, uh, presented in a separate video, and if you watch that video you know that the TPU is very very resistant material. Just checking if this is the case with this one too. After 3000 repeats, just some dust, and basically no visible marks on it. And uh, I already tested this, so the TPU is very very resistant material, and this TPU is no exception here. Usually I get something like this, you can check that video. And from now on, these are my regular testing methods for TPU filaments. And I'm starting with layer adhesion. I'm curious how will this perform with two colors. This is still in single color, slightly above 20 kilograms. And this is the two color version, very similar layer adhesion. But interesting, it did not break between two colors, but higher. And this one was printed in horizontal position. And I want to measure some prolongation before the break too. The compression test I will make exactly three rotations, that's three millimeters with this M6 bolt, and uh, after one day I will measure the untightening torque. TPU 95A had the tightening torque of uh, 2.3 newton meters, 5.4, 5.1. Next day the untightening, 1.7. For 95A this value was 0.9 newton meters, 2.0. The friction on the glass, these legs are still printed. 95A had a friction of 0.76 kg. TPU for AMS is harder, so less friction we have here. Temperature test in the oven, and I always have several tests in the progress, but maybe some of them I have to take out earlier. This is speed up video, and TPU 95A started to deform at 86 degrees Celsius approximately. Here this was 80 degrees. Well, I can see some permanent deformation on this TPU, but now when it's cooled down, I think it has similar hardness or elasticity. Creeping the deformation under the constant load. Since it's 382. After 5 days. 74.6. Almost a deformation in the last 3 days. The ring test with the pulling load of 1.25 kg. Initial deformation. 50.11 and after 2 minutes 50.13 and again the ring test but this time with the compression load 
and the weight will be again 1.25 kilograms. I'm starting the stopwatch, initial deformation 0.26, after 1 minute 0.3, and no additional deformation after 2 minutes. And I can remove the load and analyze the data. And just quickly to analyze the numbers, and I included here the results for TPU95A for better comparison. On the creep test, we can see that uh, this TPU for the AMS have a very minimal creeping. For example, it is good for the timing belt. I presented this in a separate video. On the test side test, uh, it is slightly stronger, but also it broke on a small deformation. On the layer attention test, no big difference here between these two materials. On two ring tests, definitely we can see much lower deformation on TPU for the AMS compared to the 95A. And this is the washer test, uh, this is the tightening torque and this is the untightening torque. The numbers are different, but the ratio is very similar. On the temperature test, no significant difference between these two materials. And on the friction test, uh, yes, softer materials have always bigger friction compared to the harder one. And the flexibility test, which I measured directly with the filament itself, very minimal deformation with this material TPU for the AMS. So as you can see, we must understand that the TPU for the AMS is different from 95A for different applications. Because I can see in those uh, Facebook groups, those who have the experience with 95A and they bought uh, this new filament, they were a little bit disappointed. But as I mentioned, this is for different applications. For example, it is tough material, a little bit flexible, but it is also very, very resistant material. And since it has less creeping, it is, for example, better to print the timing belts. And I know why would anybody want to see the print timing belt? But if you think so, maybe you're watching a wrong channel. There are some other advantages too. For example, we can print very fast with this material. And compared to the PLA, there is a big advantage. It will never break inside the AMS unit. And I know it's only me who is having this problem. I asked this question in a Facebook groups and I was attacked by the comments. Don't use old PLA, dry your filament, when you put it in, just print, don't stop and similar. Okay, I got it, it's only me, but it will never happen again if I use the TPU for the AMS. Okay, so now you know the possibilities of this filament and help me out and the others in what kind of applications you can see possibility of using this filament. And just my reminder for the end, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button too because somehow in my channel is not really recommended by YouTube algorithm. I mean similar size channels has much bigger number of the views. My usually stuck far below 10,000, probably even this video. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching this one and uh, happy printing.